Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tanelia and this is Ooyoung Beauty. So BH Cosmetics launched their first line of monochromatic palettes. There are six of them in the collection. I picked up two. I got these. These are called the Sweet Shop. That's the name of this collection. I got the Cherry on Top, which is the red themed palette, and the Orange Sorbet, which is the orange themed palette. They have four of the palettes in this collection. You have Candy Cotton, I mean, excuse me, Cotton Candy. Cotton Candy is the purple themed monochromatic palette. Sugar Cone, which is kind of a brown, taupey, neutral kind of palette. Bubble Gum, which is the blue themed palette. And Pistachio, which is the green themed palette. So they're all like sweet shop ice cream kind of themed, which I think is just super, super cute. They also launched a new set of brushes. There are nine brushes in this set. That's $24. These eyeshadow palettes are 18. That's a little bit more than what we would normally see from BH Cosmetics. So when I first saw them and I saw the price, I was kind of like, Mm, you know, that's why I only got the two that I knew that I would use. If I got all six of them, it'd be like a hundred, almost $120, which is like a little bit of my price range right now. But like I said, I got the cherry on top. This one, as I said, is the red themed palette. All these palettes have like a really good size mirror in the top too, which I think is absolutely wonderful. But this is the red themed palette. This is just so beautiful. You know, I thought this was brown, but actually no, it's no, it's a deep, deep red. The only thing... They smell like sugar cones, which is like absolutely just delectable, delightful. Both of them smell like sugar cones. I'm pretty sure they all do. The only thing is I feel like it's a missed opportunity because they could have scented them according to the theme of the palette. So this one could have been like cherry, you know, ice cream themed. And this one could have been orange scented. Orange sorbet would have been absolutely delightful. Kind of like what they did with the chocolate truffle blush quads. This one is the chocolate orange truffle. I absolutely love this one. This is the only one I got. I think there was like nine of them or something the little quads but this one I really liked because it's orange I love orange and I didn't have any blushes in my collection that were just straight orange and I just loved the tones in this one but this one since faded a little bit but this one smells just like orange chocolate truffle so I'm assuming that all of these palettes smell according to whatever their theme is so it would have been really nice if they had done the same thing with these but these are beautiful like i said i was a little bit mm, when i saw the price tag these actually have a nice bit of weight on them and they're really nice so you know the price range you know it's not so bad when you consider the the palette and the actual shadows they are so cute the imprint in them is like a sugar cone you can like see it actually looks like an ice cream cone in the inside. These are the shimmers on top and these are the mattes on the bottom. Now if you have not guessed by the color of my shirt, the palette that we are going to be working with today is the orange sorbet palette. I'm going to say the cherry on top for another video when I do kind of a red themed look, but I wanted to go orange today and I just I just love the orange tones in this palette so I'm definitely looking forward to playing with those. I also have a few more new products that I'm going to be playing with. This is from Milani. These are the cheek, this is the cheek hit liquid blush or cheek kiss liquid blush. I haven't wanted to try these for so long. As I've said before, I've been wanting to get in more cream and liquid based blush and highlighting products. And this is just so beautiful. This shade is called Cheeky Core. So I'm looking forward to playing with that. I'm also going to be using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I've never used this primer before. I've never really used an eyeshadow primer before. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills one I've used a couple of times, but you guys know normally I prime my eyelids with my Juvia's Place concealer. But I've heard a lot of good things about this one. This one I picked up because of Emily Noel. I'll drop our channel down below, but she swears by this. So I thought, what the heck, I'll give an actual primer a try. And then this is the Full Spectrum Matte Cover Matte Idol liquid lipstick from CoverGirl. I have two other shades. I picked this one up and another one that I just recently bought, but I have two shades that I already own that I absolutely love. This is such a nice formula. These were like on sale for like half off, half off. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple of these. And this one is, like I said, this is called Status Prestige. This is kind of an orange theme. I thought it would really go with this theme, but let's go ahead and get started priming our eyelids and putting together our look. So the first thing we're going to do is prime our lids. This is applied to clean, dry lids, blend well, from lash line to brow, allow to set for 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and put this on real quick. It's a very nice, natural shade there. We're going to blend this on our eyelids and then we're going to let it sit for 30 seconds. Just as the instructions are telling me to do. So while this eyeshadow base sets down, I think I'm going to go ahead and do some quick swatches real quick so we can see what these shadows actually look like. I'm going to start with the shimmers going across the top and then we'll go down on the bottom. So we have... Yum, 
citron, tangy, and double scoop. Those are very, very pretty. My swatches are like slowly getting better. Oh, those shimmers are very, very nice. Ooh, so far so good. All right, now we're gonna do the matte row. We have tangerine, oh, these feel very silky. Zest, extra toppings, and chocolate drizzle. Very pigmented. Oop. Okay, that's kind of like that yellow orange shade. And those are the mattes. So the eyeshadow base has set down very, very nicely. It feels really good. Slightly tacky, but not too sticky. I'm interested in seeing how well these shadows blend over it. I have a little bit of that tangerine shade on my brush. This is that kind of a yellow-orange shade. I thought this would be pretty as an all-over and kind of that transition shade. That is very, very silky. Those shimmers went on like butter in the swatches. Very, very shiny, very wet looking. Absolutely beautiful formula. I love the fact that BH Cosmetics decided to do some monochromatic colors. We know that ColourPop has been doing that for a long time. They have like several. I have a couple of the green monochromatic palettes. I have the blue monochromatic palette. I have the Nude Mood, the Blush. Those may be the only ones I have currently right now. You know, you know, you guys know I don't like to just buy stuff just to buy it. I like to make sure that it's something that I'm actually going to use. But like I said, I was excited to see Beige Cosmetics pull out the get into the monochromatic game. And we're going to take Zest, which is the deeper orange. That one is like orange, orange. And we're going to take that and put that into our crease. We're going to take that Zest shade right there. I might have to take a little bit more of that tangerine shade and go across the top just to kind of blend everything together. Wow, that is orange. I love a good orange color story. So I was very excited about picking this one up. I didn't pick up the other ones, the blue one or the green one, because I, I mean, I already knew that I was not going to really get any use out of them. I have my Blue Moon Color Pop palette. I have my Just My Look. ColourPop palette. So I have all the green mono, green and blue monochromatic that I need. I didn't really need anything else. So that's why I didn't pick those up. But these shadows are really beautiful. And they're, and they're, they're orange. This is an orange base palette. This is not a coral base palette. This is a straight orange themed palette. I want to take this in just a little bit more. Pull that in a little bit closer towards the inner corner of the eye and blend that out. Now I'm going to take extra topping, which is kind of an orange red shade. And we're going to put that on the outer corner. My God, that sugar cone scent smells so good. We're just going to place this right on the outer corner, right in here. I might take a little bit of the chocolate drizzle shade and maybe smoke that along the lash line before I lay down a shimmer. We will just have to see. Like this shade is definitely more red in compared to the other two shades. I'm not seeing as much orange in this shade. This shade definitely looks like it's more red based, but I don't mind it. It's a beautiful shade. I'm having to bend that, uh, build that one up just a little bit more. So far, the shadows are blending really nicely over this eyeshadow primer. I am so far happy with the result. Take some on the outer corner of this eye. Yeah, this shade right here, I am definitely having to build it up a little bit more. I would have liked to have seen a darker, deeper orange shade as opposed to this red base shade. It just feels out of place as far as an orange monochromatic palette is concerned. The one that ColourPop has, oh, I can't even remember the name of it is, but that one is orange. Like every shade in that one definitely is some variants of orange. This shade is more red. I'm a little bit disappointed in that, I will have to say. 
I'm going to take just a little bit more of the tangerine shade on this like elf fluffy blending brush because I want to blend everything together. I feel like this orange shade, or rather the reddish shade, the orange extra topping shade rather, it's just a little bit too harsh and I kind of want to soften that just a little bit. It's like orange, beautiful orange. That's what I'm going for. Ronald McDonald is not. Okay, that is helping to soften that up and blend that out just a little bit better. I feel like I'm having a harder time on this eye than I am on this one. I don't know. I have a little bit of a blemish. I have a pimple like right there. I don't know if you can see that. So that's making it a little bit harder to blend everything out. Do I want to put something on the lower lash line? That is the question. What do I want to do? Wow, this is definitely an orange look. I think I'm going to take a thin brush and take Zest, which is the orange, orangey shade in the palette, and go ahead and lay that on the lash line. Lower lash line. Lord, I can't even talk today. Just to kind of tie the upper lid with the lower lid. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Just to kind of tie everything in together. I don't know, guys. What do you think? This look is quite orange. I mean, I love orange, but this is very, very orange. Let's lay down our shimmer, then we'll do our liner, lashes, and hopefully everything will come together. I think the shade that I'm going to go with as my shimmer lid shade is the Citron, which is this orangey shade right here. So we're going to take a little bit of that on a brush and lay that all over the eyelid. Very pretty. I mean, heck. We're already orange. We might as well just go all the way. <laughs> These are very, very shiny, buttery, buttery shimmers. Okay, I like that. That's a pretty shade. And it's going on the eyelid very well. I don't think I'm going to have to wet the brush for this one. And it actually kind of blends into the other shades, into the matte shades, pretty nicely. I'm going to go back in with the brush that has that tangerine shade on and just kind of blend the shimmers into the mattes. I'm going to take a thin brush and we're going to go into Yum as our inner corner highlight. Just kind of brighten everything up in there. I'm going to bring it down the lower lash line too to blend it into that orange matte. I think this is the best we're going to do. I just don't see us going anywhere else with this look. Mm, this is quite orange. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do my liner. I'm going to put in some lashes. Hopefully the eye look will come together. Then we'll come back and we'll throw in some blush and lips real quick. All right, and we're back. I think with liner and lashes, everything came together pretty well. I'm actually liking it a lot better now, but let's go ahead and throw in some blush and some lips so we can go ahead and finish off this look but i'm taking this milani cheek kiss this is in cheeky coral i'm gonna go ahead and just dab it on my lips real quick my lips excuse me my cheeks yes that is very very orange that will go just nicely with this orange eye look i think i might have to build that pigment up just a little bit it's a pretty shade and it's blending over my powder products really nice but I think I'm definitely going to have to, bl to build it up just a little bit. But that is a pretty shade. I'm going to dip into my BH Cosmetics Spotlight Palette. I have not used this highlighting palette in a while, but I think I'm going to take Dream, which is this champagne kind of gold shade, and we're just going to put a little bit of that on. Just a touch. I'm going in very lightly because I have on that Milani cream blush on and I don't want anything to kind of smudge together. Let me take my finger and just kind of blend it all together. This is my first time taking a blush or a powder formula to blend over a liquid. But that is looking really, really pretty. Take a little bit of my Cupid's bow and a little bit just down my nose there just to kind of highlight the nose area. I'm going to line my lips real quick. This is my NK Lip Pencil. This is in Coral.
And the lip shade we're going to be using is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Idol Lipstick in Prestige. It's a nice, subtle, orangey coral shade. Kind of muted down. It's kind of what we need after that bright, bright orange look on the eyes. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and set my face using my Believe Beauty setting spray here. Whenever I'm going to be wearing my makeup like all day or for a long period of time, I like to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. But since I'm not going anywhere, I'm just filming this specifically for this video. I'm going to go ahead and just use my Believe Beauty. And this is our final look. What do you guys think? I love the way that it came together. I have to admit, I wasn't so sure at first. The eye look was starting to give me Ronald McDonald vibes. It was looking like it was going to be a little bit too much, but it actually came out really nice. It's just a very fiery summer orange kind of look. I really like this Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush from Milani. You do have to build it up. I actually tapped over my face about four times to get this much pigment. It's really, really pretty though. It's a very nice, sheer, natural finish. And of course, I've used this highlighting palette before. It's just been a while since I pulled it out. I love the Matte Eye Liquid Lipstick. And this tone is really nice with the eyes. It's, it kind of balances everything out. And I have to say, I did enjoy the eyeshadow primer. I like the way the shadows blended over this. I am definitely looking forward to trying this more. Final thoughts on this palette. The packaging is beautiful. I love the overall theme. The smell of the sugar cone. Oh my god, it's heavenly. Like I said, I do wish that they had went with like the actual scent of the theme of the palette. So if this one had been orange, the other one had been cherry. I love these shades. These are so absolutely beautiful. The shimmers, oh my god, they just look so wet. Just so metallic. I'm looking forward to playing around with those more. The only shade that I wasn't sure about at first was this one, which is called Extra Toppings, which is a little bit more red. I do wish, though, that this had been a deeper, dark orange shade to go with the orange monochromatic look instead of it being more red. It just kind of feels a little bit out of place. But blended in together with Zest, they did blend together very well. So if you enjoyed watching me put together this kind of Ronald McDonald fiery eye look, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you tap subscribe and join the little family. And if you want to be notified of any future videos, just be sure to tap the notification bell down below and you'll be notified each and every time. Make sure to keep a lookout because sometime in the next week or so, I am going to do a video using this Sweet Shop Cherry on Top Red Base Palette. I'm very, very excited about this one. Be safe. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.